something a little bit funny before we dive into the heavy stuff. Tom Tancredo. I don't know if you've heard of Tom Tancredo, but he's a former congressman from Colorado. He was in the Republican pr presidential primary briefly in 2008, and he's probably the nation's loudest xenophobe and bigot, specifically against Mexican Americans and immigrants. He has a, 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 an organization called the Rocky Mountain Foundation, from which he broadcasts his views, for which he uses, he, he, he raises money to fight immigration. He has said things uh, that are extremely insensitive about Mexican Americans in particular. Obviously, we know that Colorado at this point is now tw nearly 20% Latino, and so they have had a tremendous influx of immigrants. And here's a guy who's a, an extreme opponent of immigration. But that's not why he's been making headlines recently. He made headlines recently because he was a major opponent of Colorado's own initiative to legalize marijuana. Now. We've spoken a lot about legalization of marijuana on this show. As you know, I'm a proponent and a participant. But here's the interesting thing. Tom Tancredo lost. He lost. But before he lost, he made a bet with a documentary filmmaker in Colorado that if, the, that if he lost and if pot was legalized in Colorado, he would smoke a marijuana cigarette in accordance with the state laws of Colorado in a way that would be legal with the documentary filmmaker. Okay, so fast forward to the days after the election. Well, the chickens came home to roost. Tom Tancredo had to answer for the bet that he made. And he said, well, here's the bet. I'm more willing to do this than doing a silly dance. That's literally what he said. Well, this, this came to a lot of fanfare. People were very amused by the idea of Tom Tancredo getting high. What, what, what amazing ideas would he come up with? Would he renege on some of his right-wing views? But it was short-lived because just a few days later, he announced that he was going to welch on the bet. He said that he would welch on the bet specifically because, specifically because he was concerned that of the example it would set for his grandchildren. Here's what he wrote. I'm especially concerned that the publicity may cause my grandkids to have to justify my actions to their peers and afraid that no matter how many times I say I am not condoning the use of marijuana, that that message will not get through. David Schuster, are you disappointed that we're not going to get to see Tom Tancredo get high? I am uh, very disappointed because, Daniel, I thought you and Tom Tancredo uh, sharing a joint together would be, uh, would be quite, the, um, quite the interesting segment. But I, I, I sort of get it. I get it. You Look, he's, uh, he's a grandfather first um, before he's a public figure, and he doesn't want to send the wrong message to his kids. But, uh, look, he, shouldn't have made, he should have thought of that in advance. You don't make a bet unless you're going to keep your bet. And when he bet and said, okay, I'll be willing to smoke if, if this loses – it's a matter of integrity. You follow through on your promises and your commitments. And, you know, he should have thought about his grandkids on the front end. Well, I agree, David. I'm just disappointed because I, you know, the ideas that you get when you smoke weed, it's just, I think that he, he would have had a new sensitivity and perhaps a deep, deeper understanding of the world. And, and I think that we could, we could have seen, we could have turned him around politically. <laughs> so I'm disappointed, but I agree, David. I understand your concerns. Joining us in a few moments, we're going to pause for in, in, in just a, just a few seconds as our syndicated stations join us in Columbus, in Chicago, in Oklahoma, and we're going to be talking with Jake Meth and the turmoil in Egypt.